another graph translation. Um, in this case, it's going to be doing a lot of things. Um, and, and also, I made this number larger than 1. All right, so let's start off by um, graphing the original graph, this being uh, x cubed. So x cubed just does this little swishy motion, and it goes through the origin rather nicely. Um, the first thing I want to take care of is uh, the plus 2 here. Now remember the plus 2 is going to take the graph opposite of what you think because it's inside parentheses. So it's going to move it uh, 2 to the left. Alright, so now we have um, x plus 2 all cubed as our graph. Um, the next piece I want to take care of is this minus 3. Um, that's just going to take every single point and shift it down uh, 3 units on this graph. So we get a picture that looks like this. Alright, so every unit every point on this graph has been moved literally three units down. Um, the next piece I want to take care of is the minus sign out front. Uh, remember this minus sign is going to flip over um, the, well the book will say to flip over the x-axis, but here we have to be careful. We want to make sure it flips through um, the vertical line that goes through our moved point there, the one that used to be at the origin. So when I flip it, I want to flip it over this line here, literally y equals negative 3. Uh, and then we get this picture. Alright, so we're almost done. Um, we're going to need a few more things. Um, we're going to need a vertical line in this case, where the other one was horizontal, because this number here, this 3 halves, is larger than 1. Uh, we're, we're going to make sure that the graph is going to get closer to uh, this vertical line that goes to uh, our point here. Uh, and when we do that, we're going to get our nice graph uh, of negative 3 halves x plus 2 all cubed minus 3. It's a little bit closer to the vertical line uh, and still has the same general shape. Now remember, on the test, I need to see this dotted line to see which side of it you drew your uh, graph on. Uh, 